Hi, my name is Pop. This is a video tutorial about Unicenta and the customer display. When you first turn on Unicenta, the customer display is not visible by default, and you have to get it visible by turning it on in configuration. Open up configuration by tapping on it, and then go down to customer display, and you might just take a look at it and put in window. When you save, it tells you one of those things you're going to have to reboot the computer or log back in. I'm going to go ahead and quit recording, reboot, and then I'll come back and I'll splice these videos together. And I'm going to open up Unicenta and you'll see what the customer display looks like when you open up Unicenta. I'm back. I'm going to open up Unicenta and the customer display will pop up in addition to the other normal window takes a second to load. This is a slow loading program. If you've never seen it before, there it is, customer display. I'm going to move the uh, regular window over and now I'm going to go back to the customer display and I put up this banner. This is not the standard banner. Let me put it at the bottom. Unicenter point of sale tutorials Ubuntu basics tutorials by Pop. You can put anything there that you want to. Let me go to the program now and I'll show you how you can alter the text of it. You go into maintenance. Now remember, the way I got it to uh, appear was in configuration right down here to customer display and I told it a window. Now normally when you have a store you'd have a separate little monitor, a thing on a stock that the customer sees. I'm going to maintenance and I'm going to resources and I'm going to customer display I can never remember where anything is no it's going to be printer start The name of this is Printer Start. I couldn't remember it. You can't remember it. You'll have to write it down. Go over to the text here. And when you see Display Animation Scroll, that tells you the whole nine yards. And this is the text that I've got that's scrolling. Unicenta Point of Sale Tutorials Ubuntu Basics Tutorials by Pop. There's also a second line that you can put in here if you want to. You can put in as many lines as you want to. Welcome to Pop's store. Now, the way this works is it needs to be saved. And I save it and then when I go over to my display it's not yet showing in this instance you do not have to log out you just have to close the program open the program back up after the program opens back up it's going to show that second line so remember with configuration you've got to actually log out but let's see I'll move this over okay now you can see what I have that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial my name is Pop this is Unicenta the cash register program point of sale Ubuntu basics I thank you very much.